In this video, I'm going to do a very basic demonstration of how you would import a drawing file into your tablet so you can begin to prepare that file for layout. It's actually very simple, and I have another video that goes over the entire import process and the many different ways you can import projects, but we're going to keep this one simple, especially if this is your first time with the tool. So to start off, all you need to do to import a drawing into the tablet is go to your project screen, and you need to simply add a project which you might have already done before if you've practiced this before, especially if you've created a blank project before. So I'm going to go to Add, and I'll go ahead and type this DWG Practice, I guess. You can call it whatever you want. Now after you type in that name, you might have a screen that pops up asking you to add a project description. If that's the case, no worries. Go ahead and add a little project description. Just so you know, all that is is going to take a little blurb and put a small project description right underneath where you put your title, but that's all it means. There's a video on settings that goes over how you can toggle that project description to be on or off, which you can watch later. Now that that's in there, it's obviously here as a job, as a project, and I'm gonna say check. When I press check, it's gonna take me to what I call the job screen, and you can see a few things. You have your job name, the time that you imported the job, as well as any layout points, or what we're gonna do, drawings associated with it. So if you want to edit the job name to change it to a cool name or a, a unique name to your project, you can by pressing this red pencil up here. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply go over to this drawing tab and I'm going to press this plus sign. And that plus sign is going to lead me to this menu where I can import, export, or delete the drawing in this file. Obviously what I want to do is to import a drawing. I'm going to press check. It's now going to lead you to the file path that is looking for the drawing. And you can see up here you have the C drive, you have your documents folder, you have a USB. What I'm going to use is my D drive, so I selected my D drive. It's selected. I'm going to go to the folder that I know I put it at. It could be whatever folder you put it on. And here it is. It's a demo file. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to press the check mark. Before I do so though, notice that it has three file types that you can look for when you import a drawing. DXF, which is basically an older version of a DWG, which is a CAD file. DWG, like I said, CAD files. Or IFC files, files that can be exported out of softwares like Tecla. But most of the time you're going to be using a DWG. I'm just showing you that it's showing you how many file types it can look for. So here's my DWG. I have it highlighted. I'm going to press check. Now the next screen comes up. It's asking you for the units that your drawing was drawn in. If you're in the United States, the units that a CAD drawing is drawn in is almost always inches. However, there are times that you might get a drawing that's in feet. Maybe you get something from Canada or Europe that's in millimeters. But to keep this simple, I'm telling you, it's most likely going to be inches if you're from the United States. So I'm going to use units, in, units of inches for my drawing, and I'm going to press check. It's imported successfully, and now you can actually see the thumbnail of that job. Now let's say that before I go on, let's say that the drawing that you imported was wrong. Let's say you chose the wrong file or you did something wrong. Even though the plus sign is removed, you can always click this icon and go right back into it to replace it, export it, or delete it. I just want to make sure you see that. So now that it's imported, I'll go ahead and press my home button. And I'm going to go to my draw button. And you'll see that this is my now, this is now my active drawing. So I can go ahead and work on this drawing and prepare it for layout. And I'm going to show you a couple of button pushes right now to get you started. The first one is going to be this middle icon button is going to be your best friend. You're going to swipe down from that middle icon button. And let's go ahead and create some layout points. Layout points. Open up the menu where you can actually change the type of layout points you're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and create a, point, a few points at endpoints on my CAD. So I'll click a couple of lines. And there I have a few endpoints on my CAD file and check. Done. I have a more extensive video on this that you can watch later down the road, but these are, these are the basics. So I've just made some points. Now let me go ahead and check some distances. I'm going to swipe down from the middle again, go to my Kogo function, distance between two points. I'm going to click that. Let me check the length of a line. I'm going to click this line here, highlighted there. It should be 12 feet. And there it is. It's coming up as 12 feet. If I imported this with the wrong units, let's say import that as feet, obviously that, that line would be a lot longer, and I would know I did something wrong. So that's a good way to check. But that's coming up as 12 feet. Now let me go ahead and unselect that line. 
And let me go ahead and do it between two points, LP4 and LP1. That distance is coming up as 11 feet and 9 sixteenths. So there's a couple of things you can do right away with the tablet. Create points, check distances, and get going with the tablet. There's more videos down the road that you can watch in more detail, but this is good enough to get you started.